everyone, and happy, happy Christmas from all of us here at WordNet to all of you there at home. We hope you've had a very wonderful preparation for Christmas and that all your gatherings are, are very up and joyful and supportive of each other. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It was today in the year 1170 that Thomas Beckett, as related to us in the Ordo, was killed by order of Henry II, eight years Chancellor of England, as Archbishop of Canterbury defended the freedom's rights of the church, canonized only three years after his death, considered the most famous martyr of the Middle Ages. Thomas was on a self-imposed exile in France where he had fled to and remained for seven years. He returned to England to carry on his responsibilities as bishop. And although he suspected it would mean certain death, he stood firm in defense of truth and right. In today's first reading, we hear it said that the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. This is important because in the earlier verses of this same chapter, we are told that Jesus is our advocate and the expiation for the world's sins, but that we need to know him. When we say we know someone, it may mean we met that person once and so know him or her. But I don't think this is what is meant by the word know here. I must know Jesus, not just as a passing acquaintance, I must know him intimately. I must have developed this deep relationship with him, such that I abide in him just as he abides in me. In other words, I am one with him, and that's the reason I can approach him with my sins. And Jesus is not to be fooled, for as the reading further says, whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Finally, in today's gospel, we hear that the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. We hear Simeon's prayer, my own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. A reference again to the light, as in the second reading, for the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. I see two clear messages today from the life of St. Thomas Becket and from the day's readings. First, I need to be consistent in keeping the Father's commandments, in a word, in loving. But beyond that, second, in committing myself, on the one hand, like St. Thomas Becket and other martyrs who gave up their lives for the truth, even to the point of martyrdom, or on the other hand, like St. Pope John Paul II, who dedicated his whole life to the Lord, the way, the truth, and the light. And so we pray, St. Thomas Becket, intercede for me as I ask for the Father's guidance in uncompromisingly knowing, loving, and serving him. I ask this in the name of his son, Jesus, who came to bring light to a world in darkness and who lives and reigns with him and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.